Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Reviews back with another video and today I will show you guys 15 super useful iOS 18 tricks that I believe every iPhone user must know. And we're starting things off with the phone app. We have an amazing trick here, an amazing hidden feature that I'm pretty sure most of you guys don't know about. So you head on to the phone app and you go to your recent calls. And when you're here, you will have a search bar right there at the top. Now, of course, right there, you can go ahead and search for calls based on phone numbers or your contact. But did you know that you can also search like dates? So if I just want to see my recent calls here, but I just want to see them for the month of September, I can go ahead and search here for September. So just like that, I can go ahead and tap on September 2024 and what it will do. Of course, it will show me only the calls that I had during this month. So that's amazing. So another way to filter your recent calls and of course, way easier to find the specific calls that you need. Now this right here is really interesting as well. Now if you're charging your iPhone with iOS 18 and you notice that your iPhone is not actually charging that fast, go ahead and go to your settings app and go under the battery section. Take a look at this chart right here and if you see this indicator it means that you have a slow charger so your iPhone is actually not charging at its best capabilities so you might want to go ahead and get a new charger or maybe even change the cable if it's damaged or something like that. But now with iOS 18 you will have here an indicator for a slow charger and even shows right here with these orange lines which indicates that during that time your iPhone has been charging with a slow charger. Now as you know we have a new interface for the flashlight which is actually pretty cool so you can see right there I can turn on and off the flashlight and we have this new interface but did you know that you can also turn off the flashlight from this interface you will have actually two different ways of doing it you can just tap right there and you can see that animation and it actually turns off or you can just slide it all the way down like this and again it will turn it off. On iMessage with iOS 18, now you will have custom tab backs. So with tab backs, you will have basically different reactions like this when you do a tab back. What you can do now is tap right there on that emoji icon and you can just go ahead and add anything from the emoji here add it of course as a tab back so any emoji you want just select them or search them on the emoji keyboard and add it as a tab back effect now on ios 18 of course you can schedule messages to send later you tap right here and choose the send later option right there and once you have done that you will have basically a message that looks like this but what you can do here is tap on it and you can actually change here the date that's pretty cool but what you can also do is if you tap on edit, you can just tap on here, send message and it will send the message right away. So of course, if you're, you have a message scheduled, but you just decide you want to send it before that time, you can do that and just send it right away. On the Photos app with iOS 18, when you go to copy the edits, of course, this is a feature that has been added before, but now it actually has more details. So you can see right here we have adjust, so I can copy this and it will copy all the adjustments and I can go ahead and just paste them to another photo. But if I have other things here, like if I crop this photo, let's go ahead and just crop it here real quick, then it will actually add these to the options when I go to copy the edit. So if I go to copy edit, you can see now I can choose whether I want to copy the crop or not and paste it to the other photo. Now something you can do now on iOS 18 with the Photos app that I really like and you can do it directly here from the Photos app is that you can hide the hidden album from the view directly from here. Now the way to do that without having to go to the settings, just tap on your profile right there and it will show you this screen right here where you'll have all your profile settings and then you will have right here hidden album, you disable it and it will remove it from the front page of the Photos app. Now with iOS 18 and the new photos app, we have this cool view here for the photos. You can see how good this looks with different albums. And you will notice here when you go to the options to change the view for the photos, it actually will show you this amazing view. So if you go here and go to view options, of course we have the square old one 
and the aspect ratio right there it looks much much better now on ios 18 than it used to be before so it's more spaced out and it will actually make finding photos much easier than having all the photos just like squares because that way they will be cropped of course to fit the square this way it's in my opinion much much easier to find any picture that you need moving back here to the control center something i really like on the control center is this like mini player for the music app now the way to do that is of course simply go ahead and add the player so we can do that simply by adding here the now playing widget so here we have the widget now most of you guys will probably go with this one or this one this one or the bigger one but if you just go ahead and add the default one just move up like this and then slide your finger to the right you will get this mini player which actually looks amazing now one thing you can do here from the control center as you can see i have two different things right there i can launch any website i want directly from the control center so if you have websites that you often open and you just want to have them at your finger right there open them directly from the control center you can do that i can do that as easy as that just open the apple website right here the way to do that is of course go to the shortcuts app and on the shortcuts app all you have to do is just create a new shortcut and just search for open url and once you have found that action just go ahead and paste the url right there then you go back to your control center add here the widget or add here the toggle from shortcuts there we have it and all you have to do is just choose that shortcut and you're good to go now the same can be done here for music as well so i can just go ahead and start playing music directly from here so as you can see it starts playing right away so right there you can have your favorite album or maybe a playlist that you want the way to do that is simply again on the shortcuts app just have the plus button search for play music or you will have it maybe here and then right there tap on music it will take you to your music library and from here you can just go ahead and choose any of the albums or any of the playlists that you have once you have done that of course you save the shortcut and then just simply go ahead and again add it as a shortcut on your control center you will have your favorite albums or even playlists right here on your control center now with iOS 18, Apple has added transcriptions to the voice recording app. So any recordings that you make, you will have the transcription right there. But what's really cool is that you can also search on those recordings. So you simply swipe up like this and you will get a search section. From here, you will be able to search anything you want on those transcriptions. For devices that do have an action button, now you can search for any song, basically recognize any song you want using the action button. Now you will have here a new action called recognize music. You simply select, on, select this on the settings app and you will be able to use the side button to quickly recognize music. A couple of new sounds have also been added to background sounds. So if you go ahead and try to turn on this feature, if you tap on it, you will find here the fire one, which is in my opinion, the best background sound on iOS. This is actually pretty cool. And you will have the other ones here, the night and the fire as well, but the fire one is actually fire. And last but not least on the notes app, you can finally highlight words with different colors so when you go to format right there you can just go ahead and add like different colors to each of the words or the sentences that you actually select simply by going right here to the format section you just select any of the colors right there of course select previously the text and then you can change that and it will actually be quite useful if you're just trying to highlight something it will be actually very easy to do and very useful as well so that's pretty much it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed the video smash that like button if you did of course subscribe for more videos and i will see you on the next one